la 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 Leo, la 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 Leo, la 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 Leo, la la la. What's up, Leos? What's up, la 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 lion gang? Put him up, put him up, put him up. What's up, baby? What's going down in the life of a Leo between the first and the fifteenth? I know, bam. Hmm. Are y'all being nice? You gotta be nice for what to these? You understand? Y'all being nice? <laughs> y'all moving away from things? Well, needed things, might I add. Yes, Mocha had to sage. It has been quite the day. Y'all know I got reading specials going on. Yes. Love y'all very, very, very much. I'll be having to keep my energy clean. This is your first time doing my channel. Hey, boo, hey. I'm Mocha. Also, this is your first time you on my channel. I cuss. I may cuss a little. I may cuss a lot. Just depending on what the hell these cards say. Oh, but I'm a cuss. So if cussing does not work for you, my honey, I do recommend that you go to um, another reader, one of these beautiful people on YouTube, who can best assist you and resonate with you um, a little better than I can without cussing. Okay, um, to the new subscribers, old subscribers, hey family, welcome to the family, y'all know we're a little dysfunctional, we may cry sometimes, we don't fuss and fight, we leave that shit on other people's channel, but we cuss, we share, we love, we grow, we evolve, we enlighten one another, you know, um, it's about positive shit only over here, we family, alright, no judgment zone, no flex zone, we don't do that, I know y'all was like, look, where the hell you been, well let me tell you, there comes a time when you got, oh, look at me, goofy ass. There comes a time when you got to service justice. There comes a time when you got to hide in your closet because Venus retrograde got me, it got me, got me effed up. There comes a time. I can't do it, people. I ain't going to lie, I'm running. I'm running. Who want to borrow my phone? You can have it. Look, I'm tired. I just, ugh. Oh, goodness. Y'all, it's been, and I'm pretty sure, so y'all laughing right now, but y'all can agree, damn it. It's, it's been going down, all right? This will be for my sun, moon, rising, and Venus, uh, as well as the Venus and the cross watches for the sign of Leo between the 1st and 15th of November. Um, Y'all, thank you for the like, share, the subscribe, the comments. They really mean so much to me. Thank you so much. I appreciate y'all. Um. This is not a personal, it's a general, y'all. But if you need a personal, I currently got a special going on. I'm going to go ahead and extend my little $10 special. $10 one question, one answer, um, reading until tomorrow, okay, for everybody. So as long as you get your reading in by the latest tomorrow, I get you down. Um, even if your reading is not until two days from now, y'all, because <laughs> this girl been running. This girl been busy, y'all, so y'all got to forgive me, but I'm trying to be on time because I have other special things that I would like to do for you guys later, okay? So without further ado, let's get to it. Leo, the intuitive messages that I got for you guys, and y'all have been real, this retrograde, I will say, have bought me some beautiful abilities, and I can see through some of the things that I see with you. I'm not alone in this, okay? Um, you have really having to hone your, um, your spiritual abilities, and it's very, very, very imperative that you guys protect your energy during this time. Very, very, very sensitive. Even I, I felt a, sen a huge sensitivity. Like when I got into your energy, even though it's masculine, when I dug in, I felt this strong sense of feminine energy. You know, it was loving, it was sensual, it was sexual, it was passionate, it was focused, it was driven, but it was also fearful, it was regretful, it was, you know, remorseful. It, and, it, and, and spirit is trying to take you out that place. The Taurus full moon, they call it a hunter's moon, y'all. It came, for, it was, that moon did not come to play. Had to turn my ghetto on. That moon did not come to play with us, okay, Leo? So, with that, <laughs> um, you guys could really be very in tune with what you feel. And it's really interesting because not only just what you feel, what others are feeling, and you're feeling it too. And you really got to protect your energy, okay? It's very, very, very imperative that you sage during this time. You see, I was even protecting y'all energy. I was protecting mine too. But you know, under hey, understand, we need nothing extra up in here but Leo game, okay? <laughs> so it's very imperative that, you know, you have to 
Protect your space, protect your energy, protect your spirit during this time. And do not be afraid to purge. It's a very purging time. It's time to release, baby. We can't hold that shit. You can't hold that shit and move towards some greater shit to be great. No, you can't do that. Some better shit to be great. See, I fucked it up. Some better shit to be great. You can't do that, you know? But this is what I got intuitively for you guys. Y'all, when I've been meditating under trees and hugging trees and shit, and, you know, coming back and actually focusing on energies, I've actually been getting my little goddess energy back in tune. I close my eyes and I begin to write. And I'll be thinking, like I told everybody, I'll be thinking I'm writing down just a little bit. Y'all come back full of shit, okay? So we're going to get it. And I feel intuitively for Leo and you guys let me know if you can resonate with any of these emotions because I feel so many. I have energetic blocks, confidence, protection, recognition, pride, control, change, selfish, deception, compromise, manipulation, growth, life lessons, karma, spiritual awareness, fairness, evolution honing, releasing, integrity, respect, nurture, abandonment, happiness, win, fear, choice, fix it, family, mother, father, rejection, losses, sacrifice, teacher, creation, reconciliation, intervention, heightened intuition, trust, receive, Allowing sensitive reflection. Full moon in Taurus happened for Leo in the 10th house. Okay. So it's about reflecting, evaluating, and recognizing, you know, the things in your life that no longer serve you and the things that you're going to have to move forward, even if, move forward away from, even if it's particular vibrations, particular people, particular work situations. It's about re reevaluating what works best for me what is it that i really want to invest my time my peace you know my money into shit what is it does it really make me happy will i enjoy dealing with the people that i got to deal with what about the external situations around my situation is it healthy for my growth will this add to me it's it's, it's really like a lot of you guys are really going to be focused on researching this is a time for research this is a time for leo to be expanding as far as as knowledge it's about expansion it's about enlightenment it's about looking at things and gaining new perspectives even about yourself okay so your first message comes from the doreen virtue crystal angels oracle cards what well, you my baby scott was larimar sensitive emotions i told you it's sensitivity oh yeah i feel all of that i think i liked it except for some of the other i didn't like some of it but all that sensual goddess energy and stuff. I like that. I like that. <laughs> That's my stuff. Sensitive emotions. Times of heightened emotions and sensitivity call for extra self-care and gentleness. You received this card because you've been feeling extra sensitive. Perhaps empathetically absorbing negativity or other people's fears, energies have compounded by, I'm sorry, compounded the emotions you are already dealing with. Connected to a situation that you endured. You may have felt upset with knowing why, without knowing why. Or perhaps your mind has grasped for reasons to justify your sadness and you've begun to worry. Now that we've identified some of the foundations for your sensitive emotions, let's go ahead and clear you of anything that is not from God. And your higher self. Since you pulled a card related to the oceanic civilization of Atlantis, going to the ocean or soaking in a warm bath filled with sea salt will be an appropriate way to draw out physical and energetic toxins. Plus, the experience of self care raises your confidence and helps relax you. Be very compassionate with yourself and use discernment about where and with whom you spend time. This is a time to avoid harsh energy as much as possible. As you honor your need for gentleness, rest, and healing, you first, baby. Let that shit go. You are not these people, mama. Daddies. Because Spirit says, for some or for most of you all, it's external and their distractions. Okay? And things will be balancing out during this time. And it's crazy how everything is syncing up because I um, actually started with my intuitive messages that I actually could pick up 
clear audiently as well as um through my third eye as well as just really listening to my higher self as well as you know i y'all and i don't know if y'all know i don't never read the damn crystal message until so my first time when i when you know i know and so it's crazy because i felt a sense of like it wasn't even heavy it was more so like relief like woo, i ain't crazy somebody was like good girl tell me i ain't crazy no sis no bro you're not crazy you're needing to release some things though okay so during this time a lot of you all are really just going to be coming to terms and just really being real with yourself you really needed to get out in nature more you needing to speak your truth okay during this time some of you all would really be coming to terms and trying to balance and work on the shadow the darker sides of yourself worry regret rejection abandonment fears that is not of god god is not the author of confusion so it's not about you, it's about balancing yourself, finding the balance within yourself to feel those emotions. Please get in tune with what you feel to feel those emotions, okay? But however, learn how to balance, okay? That's why you're needing to be outside. Some of y'all are going to be, I see that a lot with fire signs. A lot of us are receiving, you guys are going to be receiving a massive download while in nature during this time. And it's going to bring you a different perspective. It's going to bring you a new way of looking at things, doing things. It's kind of going to be a key map to you moving forward and being able to not feel so burdened, okay? It's going to bring you a greater understanding. During this time, y'all third y'all third eye chakra is crazy. Some of you all could also um, be coming into a, a new spiritual ability. I feel like it has something to do with the sight. It's more so uh, some of you all are going to be realizing that you are mediums and you actually want to move forward and you want to assist people and share your love um, with, you know, with humanity, with being able to help them y'all with that service. That's a beautiful gift to have. Me personally, you know, I... <laughs> Mocha don't want to tell you what I do. Yeah, we fuck it. I'm transparent. We family. Y'all, I I I'm not afraid. I just be like, oh, oh, spirit take the wheel. No. Cinema cinema. So I close that damn door and I, I lock it and I put because I have a lot of abilities and I don't want to feel like I'm ever overwhelmed because I came out of that period of feeling overwhelmed where I felt to be afraid all the damn time, a paranoid shit. I'm looking, you know how, how, how crazy it feel to be looking over your damn shoulder and your shit and your house. You live there alone. Girl, it was the fucking crazy ass cat downstairs asking for some food coming, fucking up your trash bags. I saw. Breathe home and ask spirits to, um, assist you with being more allowing to your abilities, okay? Yeah, some of you all during this time are really going to be coming to terms with the shadow side of yourself, and a lot of you all are making the conscious decision to move toward the light, okay, to move away from the dark spaces, the dark sides of yourself. A lot of you all are really uh, attaining that knowledge, and, it's, and, and I feel like you're not coming, you're no longer coming from a prideful place, like, oh, I don't want to hear that shit, I don't want to hear that shit, because for some of you all, you come into that realization through possibly a soulmate relationship or a divine partnership. This could be a twin flame, twin flame union. But through this person's love, are you guys going to be able to see certain things about yourself that you need to work out? You know, you need to balance or make better, make more time to truly, truly, truly get to know yourself inside and out. The good, the bad, the ugly. Take that shit. It's not for you to hold it. Release that shit. Go outside and release it. Give it to the ethers. But as you release it, like I told Saggy. Put that shit in the light spectrum. Put it up there and really, really assess it. Why am I feeling this? What is the root? Because when you can get to the root of any foundation, can you truly, truly, truly rebuild, you know, a firm structure because you're recognizing what things about you need to change in order for you to attract what it is that you want. Okay? So with that, it's about you recognizing that emotion and not sweeping it under the rug because you can't block an emotion. You know, Leo, y'all be blocking people. I ain't even going to talk about that because <sighs> whole new day, whole new situation. Anyway, because <laughs> y'all be blocking people. Petty, petty Pam, okay? Petty Bill, petty fucking Paul, okay? Look, a lot of you guys are new um, as well to the spiritual journey. Some of you all are coming in contact with your twin flame during this time. This person is truly going to be the opposite of you. Y'all are literally going to, you're going to be so much alike, yet so different. 
but this person is going to remind you either of your shadow self take it how it goes either of your shadow self maybe a vibration that you moved away from be careful about falling in love with just or accepting somebody like because you feel sorry for them during this time because some of y'all yeah you really need to be true to yourself some of you are during this time with some of the spiritual downloads and information that you're going to receive that spirit is going to be pouring onto you you're going to gain a new perspective in order to move forward to make a well-needed past life karmic ass decision to have a particular conversation um with the goal of freeing yourself and it's going to assist you in moving forward towards newness and really abundance and love some of you all are really needing to see um i'm here erica by the other side of the game some of y'all are really needing to see a different perspective in order to truly 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 understand somebody it's you guys are fixed signs you don't really like change but it's going to be the change that really really pushes you towards your bestest self okay some of you are really some of you all some of you all need to come to terms you're going to come to terms with yourself this time some of you all have been given so much spirit really was trying to give something to you but you have people in your energy that are takers straight like that some of you all some of you all are afraid to accept what spirit is trying to give you spiritually i feel like you really needed to connect with spirit a whole lot more than what you do some of you all are really 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 needing to speak your truths and set clear boundaries during this time because you hold on to them hurt feelings you're really needing to forgive. Some of y'all, you're really needing to go back and have a conversation with your mother because some of you all could have control issues or there could be some form of a power struggle with your mother. And I feel like you want to give toward the situation as far as harmony, but there's something to do with communication, especially if your mother is a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Some of you all are going to be coming out of a very dark space. You could have actually literally... um for those, for somebody who just lost the mother, maybe you guys can get no closure, you weren't speaking. Be receptive to the love that your family and co-workers or friends are trying to give you because trust that God moves through people. You may even be used as a blessing to be, to give um, love or to give comfort to someone who could have recently lost a mother. A lot of you all are really up again learning learning about your new uh, spiritual abilities. Some of you all, you could have someone in your energy that is practicing spell work, and I feel like Leo, you gotta be real with yourself. You gotta you can't be so naive because I feel like you already intuitively know it. You've seen it, but you don't want to see it. And I have it has to do somebody y'all or somebody could be paying somebody to try to like maybe they didn't have the money. Thank you, Spirit. They didn't have the money. Somebody could be somebody could be newly trying to learn spell work. This is out. I'm hearing it's within your energy, but also outside of your energy. This is why I felt the damn sage first. Also outside of your energy. Especially if you're dealing with a young blonde male, y'all. This person could be younger than you. This person could also be a damn Virgo. Y'all, this person, somebody's trying to keep, somebody's trying to learn something like magically to keep somebody. And I feel like you know that this person is capable of it, but don't, don't worry. You're spiritually protected, okay? There's no need to live in fear. But some of you all, you really already have come to turn with the fact, you will be coming to turn with the fact. This is why I'm so damn intuitive. Y'all dreams are going to be popping. Crown chakra. You need to be outside. Some of you, spirit is literally calling your ass, finna drag you to water. Some of you all have someone, you can have a divine partnership with someone. You are an intuitive and they are as well. You could be meeting this person this month. I feel like that you already know this person or you have already been in this person's energy, but you're getting to know about this person or maybe you're getting to know different sides of this person during this month. They're opening up. Maybe if they showed you just strictly the light side of them, they also showing you a little dark side, but it's things that you possibly... It's like truth that you need to speak, but it goes both ways. It's like a two-way sword, but two parties are stubborn. 
Leo, a lot of you guys are spiritual counselors, you're spiritual teachers. And I feel like you actually want to move forward. You want to help others, okay? But I feel like you're afraid of what other people are going to feel. You're afraid that you won't be successful, but there's nothing to fear but fear itself, okay? You're really needing to trust what it is that spirit is trying to bestow upon you. Some of you all, you really hold the key to your own happiness. You hold the key to recreating your own world. It's just the way that you perceive things that's going to die this month. Watch your thoughts. A lot of y'all manifest some negative shit because you just won't see the light side of things during this time. Stop it. For what? I'm going to get the bill. I promise. Look, some of y'all are really needing to see things from a different perspective, possibly um, pertaining to... This could be a pregnancy around you externally, but I feel like this is with someone as well. There's going to be some type of truth and clarity in order for you guys to move forward into some type of divine union, okay? And I feel like what stopped people before, what stopped you guys from moving before has to do with a perspective as well as stubbornness, ego, pride, abandonment issues, rejection for some of you all, control issues, somebody trying to do little slick ass shit. This could be another baby mother, baby father trying to use magic and shit. Y'all really need to clear people out y'all energy. Just just fire people from your life. Don't get a ass no two weeks notice. Just you fire. Get the fuck out of my life. Like you, you gotta fire people from your life sometime, man. Okay. But some of you all are really going to allow, you know, a newness into your world during this time. You're gonna allow. You're gonna see things differently. Okay. I feel like a lot of you guys are really the way that you used to see things, the way that you used to move, the way that you used to, um, you know, think about things and hold on to those emotions. It's getting ready to die, Leah. I feel like you're going to be reborn. For some of you, it's like a, a spiritual rebirth. You know, you're eating better. You know, you're thinking more clear. You're making positive decisions as far as, you know, a very responsible and selective decisions on who the hell comes in your life because you've already moved from this dark place, but you're still really, uh, needing to release the emotions and really, really release the thoughts and extract that energy, but really more so hone and come, to, come into terms with why you're feeling that way so you can truly, truly, truly heal, get to the root. Of things some of you all you could have an earth sign in your energy trying to hold on and block your greatness i feel like this person is avoiding change because they know that you're going to be moving away from them during this time i feel like you are also internally conflicted possibly between two lovers two partners and i feel like some of you all are really really wanting to reconcile possibly with a water sign cancer pisces scorpio but i feel like you could either be juggling an earth sign and an air sign earth sign fire sign you want to reconcile with somebody you really want to expand however you know in order to do so you're gonna to have to leave someone behind leave somebody leave leave someone leave a perspective leave people places and things out in the cold for some of you all you really need to clear that damn lack mindset you think now you have not baby baby i'm i'm wealthy i'm healthy i'm a rich bitch that's what i tell myself i'm a rich bitch <laughs> Some of you all, some of you all may feel like not accepted or like a form of rejection, possibly from a um, earth sign. Or this could be this earth sign feeling is from you. I feel like this person really just can't see your substance, baby. Like they don't see your love or can't accept your love the way that you give it. This is for some. For some of you all, this person feels rejected and they love you and they coming back and they want a new beginning. For some of you all, you really having to leave um, an earth sign out in the cold in order to get your new beginning. Possibly with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag, water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I feel like the way, if you're dealing with a water sign, I feel like you having a hard time accepting the way that this person loves because this person just don't, after I'm hearing, I ain't even finna play no game. This person don't play no games. Yeah. Some of you all, some of you all are going to be, um, some of you all are going to be har uh, coming back into harmony with your mother. Some of you all are really starting to come into terms with your control issues, possibly do having to do with issues with your, that stem from your father. Maybe you feel like you have to control a relationship, possibly with a, um, with a, a baby mother or a baby father. Due to the relationship that you have with your father. And you're having a hard time letting go. But you're really not dealing with that particular situation. Spirit is trying to offer you peace baby. But you got to be willing to see where the problem lies. For some of you all. You were dealing with a Scorpio that had two options. And I feel like maybe this person is going to come forward and tell you the truth. But some of you all. You're walking away from somebody. You're transforming. You're moving forward. 
Leo, you you really moving just a new. Some of y'all just finna say, fuck love. I don't want no damn body. I just want to move forward and just be happy. I want to live my best life. I want to be financially stable, Mocha. I want to, I just want to be happy. I'm moving away from all of that stressful energy. I need to get in tune with my energy, okay? Because for some of you, you're coming out of this period of feeling stuck. Some of y'all, you could definitely also be dealing or having a hard time or being indecisive about a Sagittarius as well or another Leo. Or a air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Some of y'all, you got a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius when they come and tell you, I love you. I la 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 love you. La 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 Leo. You know they love you. Don't be acting funny or whatever. Don't do that. Now, look, some of you all, you could have walked away from a situation with a family involving a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Y'all, this person wants their family back. They want to come and start new. They want to move away from all the fighting, all the fussing. Bringing up the situation. I feel like somebody was a victim in the past. Well, you did this. Well, you did that. Well, you did that. But, y'all, we usually are what we attract. Okay? If we are okay with third-party situations, then what the fuck do we get? Third-party situations. If you okay with the sneaky shit in your damn energy, y'all want to tip for tap, you can't get mad when somebody hit you back. Accountability. Yeah. Some of y'all finna reconcile with a cancer. This could be someone who you had a family with in the past. Maybe you could have actually um, departed, uh, like separated from this person due to financial lack or financial, like this person wasn't able to, uh, they, they didn't have any type of financial stability, but this person's wanting to come back. Things have shifted in their life financially. They wanted to come back and reconcile. For some of y'all, you have people fires. I see Sagittarius, y'all. This person could, you have an opportunity to de to to move in a newness with them, y'all. But this person is still juggling. They still have to transform. I feel like this person does love you, and they may express that to you. However, they're not ready to really truly make a decision, y'all. Some of y'all got a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and y'all energy. I feel like you love that person, but this person is blocking your new beginning, or blocking your energy, uh, energy of like this new energy that you're trying to create for yourself. Some of y'all got Earth signs in your energy. That's a victim. They always going through something. They always having drama. And I feel like it has to do with the fact that they need to move away from things themselves. They need to move away from discord. They need to move away from trying to control every damn thing. This person really don't want to be alone, y'all. I feel like with this person, they love is very, they love is so codependent that they feel that they need to love you. And I feel that you feel like you need to be this person's damn mama. You better let God do God's job, honey, and go Live your best life. Go dab somewhere. Okay. Anybody got time for that? Some of you all, some of you all who've been focusing up, uh, some of you guys are friends to, uh, some of you guys, somebody like they boss. Who like they boss? Okay, Leo, the spicy ass. But somebody, especially if you got a boss that's a Capricorn towards Virgo, he like you too. But he could also know that you had or that you just could have moved away from a partnership. And I feel like the reason why the communication is slow with this person may feel like they're really not opening up is because this person really wants to be sure, but they damn sure watching your ass, and they may some, say something cute to you in November to let you know. <laughs> some of y'all, you just want harmony in the situation possibly having to do with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Some of y'all leaving a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You just want harmony. Some of y'all moving forward with that Sagittarius or with another Leo. With the Aries, and some of y'all is moving away from it. Like, fuck it, you still want to stay stagnant, you still want to stay stuck. And for some of you who've been feeling like, why can't I move? Why can't I release? Let me tell you something, real shit. You cannot heal from what hurt you in the first place. If you are hurt or feeling some type of abandonment from a partner, and you constantly keep allowing this person in your energy without making a damn change, you cannot be upset with the result that you get because you allowed it. You allowed the you allowed that damn thief to come in and steal your peace. You allowed that thief to come in and use you for that money. And you got to be willing to take that accountability right now. This is what this energy is about. And this is why it feels uncomfortable. The more you release, baby, the more you come to terms with it, the more you truly, truly, truly recognize, be willing to acknowledge and change yourself, you will see the shifts that you desire in your world because you deserve it. You bust your ass. This has been a really interesting year for Leo. Business owner, stop worrying. Your shit's going to be popping, okay? Opportunities are opening up. Lady Luck is in the building. Venus doing her thing. It's uncomfortable in Scorpio because it's really surfacing things about ourselves that we don't really like to see. But as soon as you can come to terms with it, can you move forward? And allow spirit to truly help you and assist with releasing. 
Because for some of y'all, y'all on the brink of a new beginning. Please believe in mirrors. Y'all, y'all, hey, that Shabbat, that money, that money, honey, looks good. Some of you all are healing. Okay, some of you all, like I said, you're going to just go in this period of solitude. And you're just going to focus on your money. But some of you all, you're healing the situation possibly with the father of your children. Mother, father, your children. I feel like if this person left unstable, they coming back and giving you your damn ten of, uh, your ten of pentacles, baby. They coming back and giving you what it was because they, they see this is Leo is my fucking shining star. I'll be a fool to let him go. But some of you all still was truly, truly, truly working behind the scenes for you. But you got to be willing to release that pride in order to truly see so that you don't miss your blessing. Yeah, some of y'all are moving away from a marriage. Some of y'all, if you're dealing with a Taurus, I hate to ruin the surprise. But this person ain't been in no third party energy, Leo. You moved away from him. This person don't know how to fucking communicate either, but they want to marry you. They want to... They want to be engaged. This is somebody who had commitment issues in the past, okay? Especially if this person is a Taurus or air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You got to make a judgment call because for some of y'all, I'm going to be real. I see that you could have actually moved on and start working with and start dealing with somebody else possibly that you work with. And you're now seeing that, you know, this is my two of cups. For some of y'all, you're going to be having a new beginning with an Aries, okay? But I do see all in, all's well, ends well, babies. So just know you're on the brink of a new beginning. This is what I have for my babies between the 1st and the 15th of November. I send you much love, much light, much peace, much joy. Many, many blessings, y'all. Namaste. If you need a personal, hit me up. Bye, babies.